Tonight, remain in Mexico. A Trump-era immigration policy initially halted by the Biden administration is now back in effect. It means asylum seekers will be sent back across the border. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Marcella Lee. I'm Carlo Cicchetto. The Biden administration is acting under a court order. And as News 8's Dana Marie McNichol reports, the policy will have some changes. Immigration advocates are angry that this controversial practice is back on the books. Keeping asylum seekers out of the United States was first put into practice during the Trump administration to deter immigration. Today, the program starts at the El Paso port of entry with San Diego expecting to be next. President Biden is putting into place a program that we know is completely inhumane. Today, the migrant protection protocols known as Remain in Mexico will take effect, a program that forces migrants seeking asylum in the U.S. to stay in Mexico as they await their immigration court proceedings. President Biden halted this Trump-era program shortly after taking office. A court order has now forced the administration to restart this controversial program. Those migrants who will be subject to extreme conditions of violence. Page Pedro Rios, an immigration activist and director of American Friends Service Committee, says there is no way of justifying this dangerous program, sending people to crowded shelters or makeshift encampments. There are many cases of people that are kidnapped, um, held for ransom, people that have been sexually assaulted, including children. There are cases of people that have been killed. A Texas judge ruled in August that the Biden administration had violated federal law in how it suspended the program and required that it be restored. I'm not making new law. I'm eliminating bad policy. In total, roughly 70,000 immigrants have been forced to return to Mexico under the policy since 2019. Exemptions to the program include people with disabilities and the elderly. It's unconscionable that the Biden administration would want to not only restart the program, that they spoke against, but also are expanding it, going beyond the court order that they are saying that they are complying with. Before Mexico reluctantly agreed to re-implement this program with the U.S., the Department of Homeland Security first had to make humanitarian changes, including providing COVID-19 vaccinations for migrants, ensure shelters are safe and secure, and make sure each case takes no longer than six months with better access to legal counsel. The Department of Homeland Security is appealing this court's ruling, but it's not clear when a decision will be made. Homeland Security is in touch with immigration advocates who say they expect this policy to reach San Diego next week. 